this whole John Lewis thing, of course, it was revealed today um, by um, Austin Yak of National Review. He came upon a Washington Post story that we put up earlier uh, where they said John Lewis also skipped the inauguration of G.W. Bush because he didn't think he was legitimate. Uh, the media is not talking about that because, uh, you know, they don't want to call out John Lewis for, for telling a, a, a mistruth or whatever. Um, what do you make of the whole uh, back and forth? Because you put up a tweet of your own. I mean, John Lewis has acted irresponsibly. You know, you should, should not use the word illegitimate unless you genuinely believe the president's illegitimate, in which case you wouldn't, for example, participate, I suppose, in, in the Congress that's supposed to uh, confirm his nominees and his budgets and so forth, right? I mean, you know, either an administration and a government is legitimate or not, and it's a foolish term to use, and then he, I gather he skipped the Bush inaugural, too. Uh, so on the one hand, I'm perfectly happy to criticize John Lewis, um, even though he was, you know, very courageous 50 years ago. On the other hand, the way uh, Trump did it was stupid and inappropriate. And again, to take the Bush analogy, what did George W. Bush do when John Lewis skipped his inauguration? I imagine George W. Bush said nothing. If he was asked, I'm sure he just praised Lewis's past uh, achievements as a civil rights leader and said he hoped that Lewis would come around and that he could work with him on some issues and was very polite. And that's what you do if you're president. For my big problem with this is and John Lewis is a congressman, and he's a partisan congressman, and fine, every conservative is going to have fun pointing out that he was misleading and that he's partisan and so forth. But there's only one president. And, you know, four days before your inauguration, when you've been elected in a divisive election with 46 percent of the vote, it's leaving aside what's good civics and kind of good uh, behavior. It's smart politically to try to win over some people. And he took a case where Lewis was the one who was being extreme. Democrats were going to have to distance themselves from Lewis. David Axelrod already had said, I don't think it's wise for us to say that kind of thing. And it's he made it about him and about his kind of rude quote, and he's got all of Atlanta up in arms against him and so forth because he asserted that this congressional district was crime-ridden and stuff. So, uh, I mean, I, I, it depressed me in the sense that I don't think Trump is thinking intelligently about how to be president in the sense both in terms of what a pres how a president should behave, but just as almost as important about how to win more support because he's going to need it to get legislation through. The idea that he's going to snap his fingers and, you know, 52 Republican senators are just going to fall in line automatically, that's not how it's going to work after the first few weeks. And so anyway, that, it, that's gotten me worried.